It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the time where families celebrate the holidays together, exchange gifts, and otherwise pretend that everyone doesn't secretly hate each other. However, if you're looking to hide in your bedroom and indulge in some video games instead, we won't fault you for it because that's exactly what we'll be doing. But why not honor the holidays with some appropriately themed games while you do so? Today on Game Files, we're taking a look at Christmas-themed video games. Compared to film and television, Christmas video games are nowhere near as common. You can thank Hallmark for ensuring that this will always be the case. Most network television series typically have a Christmas episode every season, and there's always a holiday movie or two airing at multiplexes every December. So to prevent this segment from being dominated by other mediums, we're just going to nix every Christmas video game that is based off of a movie. Sorry Home Alone, you've got to sit this one out. That leaves us with two kinds of games those that inject the spirit of Christmas into their very soul and those that simply use it as a backdrop. The first kind is almost always a cheaply produced game that is meant to cash in on the season since holiday themed games don't sell well. 1994's Days Before Christmas is one such game. It's an unremarkable platformer save for the fact that Santa can turn into an all-powerful anti clause which I imagine is a lot like the Antichrist considering the Christmas theme and all. If you grew up in the late 90s, you may remember elf bowling. Here, Santa plays bowling by using the elves as bowling pins. It is crude with elves suffering gratuitous injuries while spouting lines like, is that all the balls you've got, Santa? Strangely enough, this was adapted into a feature-length movie in 2007 that is by all accounts a dumpster fire. Some companies release short demos or reworks of games in order to grab some extra sales come holiday shopping season. Christmas Lemmings is just lemmings with the Christmas coat of paint over top of it, complete with the same squeaky deaths when they fall off a cliff. And Jazz Jackrabbit got not one, but two holiday expansions that were released for free back in the late 90s. And let's not forget the classic Christmas game, Santa Claus Saves the Earth. This absolutely terrible platformer appears on lists of Christmas video games simply to fill space. I think the only people who actually like this game do so ironically. Looking at Christmas games solely through this lens would be very disappointing, but much like how Die Hard is considered a Christmas movie simply because it's set during Christmas, there are plenty of good and even great video games that fall under the same banner. Hideo Kojima's 1988 cyberpunk adventure Snatcher is one such game. As you investigate the titular robots who kill humans and wear their flesh, an informant will disguise himself as Santa to hide his identity, since it's Christmas time. Kojima returned to the Christmas theme in Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, though you wouldn't be able to tell at a glance since there's no snow or decorations to speak of. Duke Nukem 3D also lands on this list thanks to its nuclear winter expansion. The aliens have mind-controlled Santa, which means it's up to Duke to murder elves, snowmen, and Christmas tree tanks to save him. Sega's strange forklift driving simulator Shenmue is technically a Christmas game since the hero Ryu arrives home to see his father get murdered two days before December starts. Nothing in the plot has anything to do with Christmas, but if you turn the clock to December 25th, Santa will make an appearance. Speaking of Sega, Nights into Dreams has two bonus levels called Christmas Nights that fills the countryside with snow and adds a jingle bell tune to the game's music. Because nothing says Christmas quite like an androgynous jester flying through the sky collecting orbs. Square Enix's Parasite Eve opens in New York City on Christmas Eve 1997, just as a parasite appears that mutates people into slimy orange monstrosities. Turns out that Christmas and body horror are actually a pretty good combination if you can stomach it. Looking at more modern titles, Batman Arkham Origins is set on Christmas Eve. You've got to wonder, is Gotham City as crime-ridden as it is because Santa skips the city every year so he doesn't have to deal with hordes of gangs with guns? Ubisoft's The Division series is also tied to Christmas thanks to its backstory. The plague that set the events of the series in motion in the lore began on Black Friday, and you can see Christmas decorations scattered throughout both games. Turns out, a potential apocalypse is as good a reason as any to leave your Christmas lights up in July. As you can see, Christmas can be found in the most unlikely of video games. And though you don't need to play a Christmas-themed video game during this time of year, you should consider it. Because after all, nothing captures the spirit of giving like buying yourself more video games. Oh, and, and booze.